Hope you all are doing well. Well, I don't know if that picked up the high part or not. So, let's try this again. <laughs> hey guys, hope y'all are well. So, uh, as you guys saw, Poppy surprised me today. He came to the barn. Um, and added to his channel. So, a very, uh, interesting ordeal that was going on at the barn today. Something, unfortunately, we horse owners have to do. It's called sheath cleaning. Um, uh, horses can't. And uh, once they're gilded, they can't clean their genital areas out well like they can if they're a stud. So, it's left to us to clean them. They also, even, you know, even as a stud, you still have to make sure that there's no debris and things like that that gets up in there. Uh, when they let out and extract and pull their genitals back up. Uh, unfortunately, that's one of those jobs that we as horse owners have to take on and i'm not sure why that screen got really bright but it did so we um we actually have to go in there and, and clean this stuff out and it causes if you don't it actually will cause what's called a bean and you heard me say he had a stone i call it a stone because it's layman's terms uh in the normal medical world people understand it better <clears throat> excuse me if you hear that the horse has stone because it basically blocks the urethra and doesn't allow the male horses to be able to urinate. Uh, Jim did have a small stone. I did start there, and the reason I started there with him is because he has a history of that. He normally gets them really large and really massive to where he cannot urinate at all. And he will stand and act the same way that he did today. So I said hey, let's do this first, because it's not something that I would have to necessarily give medications for. Uh, sometimes I give him a little something for the discomfort, but other than that, that's usually all I give him. So, but tonight, we did discover that Jim has something going on with his right back foot. It appears to be uh, a pull tendon. Um, in the morning when it's not so late, I'm going to get up first thing in the morning, bright and early, head to the barn, check on him, uh, and go ahead and do my morning feed, and get him looked at, and look at him a little further. I'm actually going to do some more testing on his hoofs, check his back foot, as tolerated for his pain level. Uh, make sure everything's going good. I'm going to do a gut sound check, make sure his guts are moving good, because he did poop. Pooping is very important for the horse, because uh, they have a, a straight gut. Got one way in, one way out. They cannot throw up. A lot of people don't know that. But they, we checked all that. He done great today. Unfortunately, he hasn't urinated since I was there. So, but I stayed with him pretty late. I hadn't been in very long. It's just now, it's like 1 a.m. I got home like at midnight. Had a lot of things to do around the house and uh, take care of everybody. Get everybody, make sure everybody had, you know, was ready for bed. Because I do have... I do have two legged kids, so I gotta take care of everybody. But, um, but Jim is in need of prayer. I appreciate everybody on Poppy's page for if they could throw up a prayer. I will be sending Poppy videos and let him know because I don't know if he'll be able to make it back to the barn and I know I'm not gonna leave anybody hanging. So I'm sending him this short clip to let you guys know what was going on. Uh, but he does have what appears to be a tendonitis. Uh, that's what we're, that's where we're gonna, that, that's our next move. Uh, when we moved on down the leg, once we realized that he didn't relax back out, he was still in pain. He does have a little bit of swelling in that tendon. Uh, didn't show any signs of an abscess unless it just hasn't surfaced yet. He's not sore in the toe and the hoof or anything like that so far. Um, or at least I haven't noticed that yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some more testing. I, again, as tolerated for him. If I need to, I'll get the vet to give me some more, you know, higher pain medications. And we'll, we'll kind of go from there. But stay tuned. Keep the prayers going for Jim. I appreciate it. Um, Jim, like I, you know, I mean, Jim's been sick for a little while. Backstory on Jim. He got out a year or so ago. I uh, ended up with a parasite, him and three other of my horses. I uh, ended up with a parasite, long story short, got treated for that, got better, still wasn't 100%. Then, 
got sick again uh, after moving to our new location, uh, which we are very thankful for. Um, and he got, I don't know, he, he, he got wormy really bad, ended up with another parasite. We treated him, got him better, we changed his feet, we did all the obvious, and then I said, okay, we're going to have a vet check him. And all of this was done with advisement by my veterinarian. And then the vet said, here's what we need to do. So we went ahead and pulled blood, done all that, come to find out Jim's anemic. So Jim's been on really expensive feed for almost a year now, uh, well, six months to a year and supplements and all kinds of stuff to get Jim better and Jim looks a lot better than he did six months ago so very thankful to my veterinarian and some other folks that's helped me out uh, along the way very thankful for them but also uh, my knowledge that my sweet little grandfather gave me uh, growing up he taught me a lot and taught me what to look for and how to treat things and so I've been able to kind of work on things and you know I call the vet hey here's what I'm trying you know I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing and again I try to cross all my T's and dot all my I's with my horses because they're my babies too uh but Jim needs some extra prayer tonight so if you guys could please continue to pray for him and I'll send poppy updates as we go along just so you guys can keep up with what's going on with Jimbo A.K.A. Cheeseburger Thief. <laughs> so don't be bringing us no Wendy's. Because that'll get you cheeseburger stolen. So maybe Poppy can come back up. And do another video on him. And let you guys know how he's doing. But otherwise I'm going to send short clips. To let you know as we go, as we progress. And hopefully he'll add this in to his show. And always remember. Like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you keep Poppy happy. Because we love him. And follow us to our next pony ride. And follow Circle and Stables as well to find out where we'll be. Also, if you want something really cool to do, go over to my son's page, which is Christopher's Wild Adventures on YouTube as well. He's only nine and he has his own YouTube. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Have to ask Poppy about it. We got the YouTubers in the family. What the hey? Alright, guys, have a good night. God bless. And remember, always, kids. My motto is always study hard for a good education, always obey your parents, always say thank you to Jesus. Keep that smile on your face. God bless. Love you guys.